Hey guys, so today I have another unboxing for you. Okay, uh, let's start with uh, this one. Okay, so um, yeah, today we've got Listing Trunk, High Security Vault to uh, unbox. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Okay, I'm a little tired today, so. Okay, so to start with, we've got a little Sedrine notepad. I think it's just, yeah, it's just the same design on the notepad. So that's very cool. Uh, that's handy for me because I have an exam coming up. Uh, so that'd be very, very handy for when I have to do that. Uh, okay, so next one. Oh, I think it's just a little sticker. Look. Ah, oh, they're cute. A little snakey. Uh, okay. okay, I think I'll put that on my, my laptop, I, I like that a lot. Okay, uh, the next thing we've got is like a little, little patch. I'm assuming that's some sort of like, that'll probably be like Quidditch inspired. So a little sports patch. Uh, I might give that to someone because I'm not really much of a sports person. Um, I did do sports when I was a kid, um, along with like dance and stuff, but uh, I'd rather play sports than watch them, so the, the, the sports aspect of is not really part of my aesthetic, personally. Okay, so here I think, uh, okay, so I'm, I'm assuming this is a candle, it says musk, musk, covered stones, mint, ambition, um, so, and it says common room on the front of that, so I'm guessing that's supposed to be like a slithering common room, or oh, it's a smell like it or something. But yeah, yeah, it's a nice little, little candle. It smells very nice. Uh, I don't get a lot of mint. I definitely get the moss, the musk, and the must, must, musk, and the moss. It does smell very mossy. But it does, it's very nice. Um, I'll be interested to see if the mint comes out when you actually light it. Um, but yeah, yeah, I like that one a lot. So I'll try that out in a bit. Um, okay, so, oh, we have a pin, pin, uh, and yes, yeah, so, just get it out of the, okay, I won't get it out of the record. um, but yeah, so, I have a prefect badge pin, it's quite a big pin, like, it's quite a large pin, but I'll definitely pin, be putting that on my coat, I might put it on my leather jacket, because I've got a leather biker jacket, um, so I might put that on my, uh, my leather biker jacket, uh, but that's really, really nice. I like that one a lot. Okay, what do we have next? I'm gonna guess and say that this is like class pride or something, because I never really look at um, what the titles are until after I've made, I've unboxed everything. I really like to be, I like to sort of guess a little bit. Uh, I don't always get them right, but. I do my best. Okay, so this is some sort of tapestry. It's a very cool little tapestry right here. So this is, I think this is depicting like a hunting for unicorns or something like that. Because we've got a unicorn in the middle and a bunch of people trying to kill said unicorn, which is kind of sad. But it's very, it's a very nice design though. It's kind of like got that old sort of renaissance art style i think it's renaissance it might be a different art style i'd have to look it up but yeah that's a really nice um little tapestry can imagine that being in like one of the slimly corner room or something like that or one of the corner rooms okay uh okay we have a very large hat uh see if i can get this out very hot today so I'm kind of getting through it at the moment um, but yeah so we have like a nice little beanie hat again I might give this away to someone uh, because I don't really do 
beanies or maybe I'll keep it for like the winter or something but I'm not really much of a hat person but I'll either give it away or I'll keep it for winter time because that will come in handy but yeah yay so that I like it when they put stuff in there that's functional not just collector's items so that's always a plus for me um, for those who aren't aware the um, high security vault box I probably should have mentioned this at the start is like their special edition box I believe it comes out quarterly um, so there's a few more items than you would get in the standard box um, I've just got to figure out how to open this one there we go. just rip it it's all those sales just rip it um, I think this is a oh yeah it's a cushion cover little sliver cushion cover it's quite velvety to feel I don't think it is velvet but but it definitely has that very very soft it's very very soft and it does sort of have that velvet feel without actually being velvet I'm not sure what the material is I'll have to have a look Let's see, I wonder if it says what the, if it has a tag on it or something, it doesn't look like it's got a tag on it, so I don't know what the material is, but look at that design, that's a gorgeous design, the little snake in the middle and all the, that cute little design, I do really really like this sort of, I'm not sure what the symbols are called, but this sort of, this kind of design, um again i'd have to look it up but i love all of this this is gorgeous gorgeous design and it feels quite high quality it feels like really really nice quality like it's soft but it still feels very very sturdy so i don't think so it feels like it will last for a while which is always a good thing uh oh there's something in the bag what's in the bag ice cream uh for those who don't know Green is my favourite colour. I love all shades of green, but probably mint green is probably my favourite. Uh, mint and neon green would be my favourites. Oh, it's the ring! Uh, I'm guessing this is like a Slytherin ring because it got the S on the side uh, with a little, with the little, um, I don't know how well you can see it, but it's got like a little, if this camera was focused, it's supposed to be like the shield with a snake. On it, um, I can't. If only this thing would focus, but yeah, it's not going to focus. And there's a star underneath the the shield, and then on the front, we've got this snake, open mouth snake with, with the fangs and the eyes and stuff, which is very very cool. This would actually be quite cool if you were into um, doing wax seals, because you. You could use this as a stamp for a wax seal which would be very very cool and again for those who don't know i do like snakes like the i wouldn't necessarily have a snake of my own just because I, I have kids and i would be worried about like the snake getting out and stuff and the, my kids getting freaked out but i do love the snake motif a lot that's very very cool i wouldn't be able to wear this so i would probably do what i did with my um, black family um, ring or black family inspired ring which is this one right here with the, the skull on it which I also got from um, another from the black house um, special edition whisking trunk um, that was I think I think it was the last one it might be the one before I can't quite remember but I get it from, I got that from this and I just put it on a chain because I can't wear these big ass rings because uh, my fingers are too small. Um, yeah, I'll probably find like a chain or a ribbon or something and put it on that, or just have it as like a something on my mantelpiece or something. Oh, we got box, 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 box. If I can open the box. <laughs> okay, and okay. Oh, I believe this is a potion or a potion ingredient. Oh, it's got a cool little skull and crossbones uh, wax seal at the top, on top of the cork. And this is, yeah, it's a, this is Deadly Nightshade. So this is a potion ingredient. Um, it also shows the antidote. So it's 
Deadly nightshade, caution, poison, antidote, mustard and warm water to vomit, then give white of eggs freely and vomit again, seek a healer immediately. And this it seems to be from the pure blood apothecary. So yeah. Again, the camera won't focus, so I can't you can't probably can't see it very well. But this is actually the little ingredients right here. They look kind of like um like dried raisins or dried cherries or something, which is quite cool. Uh, but yeah, I love how they've uh, they've come up with that and how they've they've like aged the label as well, which is very very cool. I really like that aged sort of anything that looks really old and antiquish. I'm really into that. Uh, okay, uh, oh, it's coming out. Okay, so I'm guessing this is one of the book covers. Take this bad boy out. Oh no, it's just like a poster, it's a piece of art, which is very, very cool, so I'm, this is just, I'm guessing this is the Slytherin uh, common room, so you've got the fireplace, and some pictures, oh, that's very, very nice, yeah, and you've got the little the shelves, so yeah, Slytherin common room, I put all, my best to, if you can see that. Yeah, we've got a Slytherin common room artwork. There's another pin! Yay! Um, and this one... Let's try and get this out of the packaging. Okay, uh, this one is another um, portrait pin. Um, again, um, in the black family um box there was a portrait pin i believe they've done a couple portrait pins in the past and here is this one i'm gonna take a guess and say this is supposed to be salazar slytherin um this one is looking and everything um but i'm not entirely sure i'm given that this is all very slytherin centric and it's got the slytherin locket on there uh, I'm going to guess that that is Salazar Slytherin, um, or the Wizarding Trans interpretation of him. Uh, but that's a very, very cool. Uh, again, I really like the antique aesthetic uh, that a lot of these items have, uh, a lot of the Harry Potter merch has in general. Um, so yeah, so there's that guy. Let's find somewhere to put him, because that's a really, really nice pin. I do appreciate that when they do their pins, they have the double... Um, studded pins for like a little bit of extra security. But yeah, I'm guessing this is all like house pry or house related. Right, and uh, this one is a tie. Oh, no, I'll actually show you the tie. That would be a good idea. Let's do that. So, yeah, there we go. We've got a lovely tie. It's quite a long tie, so no matter what how big or small your neck is, this tie is going to fit you. Which is... Which I appreciate, because like sometimes you buy, you, you'll get a tie and it's just it's too short or it's too long and it's a pain in the butt. But that one's got a nice length to it. So you don't have to worry that it's not going to fit you, which is nice. Okay, there's fixings on there, so I'm just... Ah, key! Or a key ring. Or a key style key ring. I love, love keys. So, any sort of unusual looking key I'm all about. And this is like a, a Slytherin style key. And, uh, yeah. So, there you go. There's a little key, key ring. So, we've got the little snake up here and the um, Slytherin's locket uh, pendant right there designs and I can't know if you can see it but in the center here it does say cunning in some very very small writing you probably can't you probably won't be able to see it 
um, and some sort of little like dagger looking thing right at the end here which is very very cool and oh there's some snake fangs right there so yeah they've designed it with very much with the snake theme in mind so it sort of looks so all the components look kind of like uh, snake snake related in fact I think that this isn't a dagger I think originally I thought it was a dagger but from the look of it it looks like the um, basilisk fang I might be able to start talking properly for soon Basilisk's fan, fang, right here, which is very, very cool details. I have is super detailed. Like even on this snake part, you can see all the little scales and the folds of the skin and stuff. It's really, really cool and really detailed. I absolutely love that. Right, and okay, so what is the Okay, so we've got some um, paper items. Okay, so we've got a note from a prefect right here. So let's see what it says. Dear students, this morning's incident with the exploding ink was unacceptable and was reported immediately to the headmaster. Contrary to the hilarity, those present in the common room seem to feel, those present in the common room seem to feel the joke was unbecoming of the upstanding scholars of this house, anyone involved further in further such shenanigans will face consequences to be determined. Sincerely, your prefect. Mm -hmm. Someone got in trouble. Okay, but yeah, yeah so there you go, you got a little prefect note, some little ink blotches, and that's very, very cool. And oh, uh, here we have like a advertisement for some kind of concert so Salem Sisters live in the Great Hall October 31st so yeah so that's pretty cool that's a nice design it's simple but effective and it looks like any sort of poster you would see I also like that this this looks like texture on the back which is very cool detail to add and uh, another advertisement Grindelow hatchlings for sale and again on the back they've added the extra detail of making it look very textured which is which I would definitely appreciate uh, yes yeah, so it looks like someone's selling Grindelow hatchlings which is rather interesting okay so that is all of the items in this box and yeah it was um the house pride box so we have the this is where i knock everything over because i've folded it all very nicely on top of each other okay so yeah school tie Um, okay, common room painting, that one there, I actually really, really like this, I might get that framed, there's a bunch of stuff that I need to get framed, but yeah, I really like that one, so that's definitely going to keep that one. Um, the uh, slouchy house beanie, which is right here, I'll put that on, it's very hot today, or at least it's very hot in my flat, so yeah i'm not gonna i'll keep that on for a little bit i think okay and we've got the okay uh the portrait thing i've only got that somewhere i just can't find it right now um but yeah we definitely have that one ah there we go there he is Portrait pin. This depicts a very important person in the history of our house. Uh, okay, that's just a wisdom trunk exclusive. That's very cool. And we've got the house team letterman patch. There we go. Um, we have the common room key. I actually really, really love that design so much. Uh, 
Okay. Okay, uh, the house stationery. I don't know if I showed you that uh, design properly, but yeah, there's that notepad going to come in very, very handy for me. Um, oh, so with the house potion, um, I'm guessing that they had different ones for different houses. So um, those of us in Slytherin House uh, got Deadly Nightshade, but there was also Wide-Eyed Potion, which is keeping me awake for long study sessions in the library. I'm going to guess that's Ravenclaw. Uh, Disillusionment Draft, this potion makes a drinker take on the exact colour of their surrounding, essentially rendering them invisible. No invisibility cloak required. And um, that one I would guess would be Gryffindor and Tangled Golden Glow. These seedlings produce a new species of magical plant similar to the Devil's Snare but unaffected by sunlight. They are also used to brew the constricting concoction. Okay, uh, and that would be um, Hufflepuff. And the Deadly Nightshade has dry berry to use. This dry berry is used in a variety of deadly potions. It is extremely poisonous and should not be ingested. Obviously Slytherin. But yeah, so that's the one we got, Deadly Nightshade. Um, and everything, everything's fallen down and I can't find anything. Okay, uh, Prefect Badge. Yeah. Um, and we've got the Common Room. Oh no, this must have been the painting one. I got that completely wrong. This one is... Um, I can't remember which one is which. Uh, oh no, common room tapestry. Uh, so these tapestries can be found in each of the common rooms designed by Wishfree Workshop. So that's the uh, tapestry, the common room tapestry. Okay, so there are tapestries that would have been in the common room. Okay, I didn't get it wrong. I was fine. But yeah, so common room tapestry. There we go. Um, common room notices, so these would have been our common room notices. Um, just a few notices that were posted in your common room notice board written in collaboration with the Wizarding Trunk and Wizardry Workshop and designed by Wizardry Workshop. Okay, um, oh, it was a wax stamp. So this is the class ring wax stamp. Uh, class ring has arrived, creative for display, but it can be used as a wax stamp. Designed by Wizardry Workshop. Really love this item. Uh, I am actually getting married, so I might see if I can sneak some wax seals onto our envelopes. Or at least a few of them. If I can get away with it. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, final decal is... I can't... There it is! Uh, Okay. Okay, so I'm assuming that this is the yep vinyl decal right there, and this vinyl decal was designed for us by JP Mistlecrow. Yay! Love that. Okay, and then the common room candle. Uh, these candles are catered to smell like your common room, created for us by Laurel Mountain Candles, labeled designed by Queen Mab and Wish Street Workshop. Okay, so look forward to trying that. And the throw pillow cover, these pillow covers were designed for us by a wizardry workshop. So um, it's upside down. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Uh, throw pillow cover. So I believe that that was all of our items that we got in uh, this box. So yeah, love all the house pride stuff. Uh, these, there are so many of these items that I think look amazing. I love, um, the only thing I wouldn't, wasn't really that excited about was the Letterman patch because it's not really my style. And again, with the beanie because I don't really wear them that much unless it's like bitterly cold and I kind of have to. Um, but yeah, so those are the only two that I wasn't really that into. But everything else, oh and the tie probably because I don't wear ties. Um, 
but everything off super cute i love how great this pillow cover is like feels really really sturdy like it's gonna last a while so that makes me happy um probably my favorite things there's a few favorites with this box um but my favorites would probably be the oh. Okay. It's in the back. Okay. No. It's fine. It's fine. This Debbie Nightshade was a really great item. I love the pens, but I usually do love a good pen anyway. But I really like these ones. These are awesome. I'm really, really into that. Can't say no to a key, especially a beautifully designed key. Especially one with snakes. And sniffling things on them so yeah love this key that is going to go with the rest of my key collection <laughs> that i have seemed to be accumulating quite rapidly um, um and then also the wax seal stamp ring i really really love that that is absolutely awesome um like itchy eye um so absolutely love that one um I'm not sure if I've got one that's an ultimate favourite. I kind of like all of these equally. I can't really... It's so hard to choose. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, so. These guys. Probably my favourites. I can't pick one. You can't make me, okay? Okay, but yeah, those were my favourite items. That was uh, this, um, well, not month because they don't come out monthly, but uh, that was the House Pride um, Wizarding Trunk special edition called, um, I can't remember, uh, the High Vault, High Vault, uh, High Security Vault. I can speak finally. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, that was High Security Vault. That is their, the Wizarding Trunks Special Edition box. I believe it comes out quarterly. So it's like every every three months or something like that. Um, so really love this box. Uh, can't wait to find out what's in the next one. Uh, and yeah, so that's it for um, this week's video on the Wizarding Trunk. Uh, their Special Edition box. I absolutely loved it. It was also thing was beautiful beautifully done beautifully made as per usual so thank you wizarding trunk you guys are awesome and i will see you guys in the next video Bye bye <laughs>